Now I am looking for these. Five for six dollars. Hmm, maybe they're not what I thought. It's kind of early in the morning, but I had a sale overnight on eBay, and it's, I want to see if I can wiggle it out of here, like out, oh, that's not going to work, let me just keep putting things this way, oh, look at it, <laughs> let me put it down right here, no, you know what, let me take it upstairs and I'll tell you more about it. I was traveling across Ohio and I met up with Carol from My Blessed Nest and we had lunch and then we went to the bins and I found this at the bins in Ohio and then I continued on to Pennsylvania and met up with my friend Sherry and we did that whole Pittsburgh thing where we thrifted around Pittsburgh. So this, being it was at the bins, is by weight. I paid a dollar and eleven cents for it, and ironically, I sold it for eleven dollars plus shipping. I keep listing up Christmas items in between my other items. I think I'm just going to be doing that all year long. After I listed up a few items, I went and had coffee with my friend. We got pistachio lattes. I am just retaking this picture. The first time I took it, it was way too dark. And the AI that Etsy is using actually sent me a message and asked me to retake the picture. I mailed off my first sold on eBay only to get another one. I knew I should have waited because then I could have walked them both up to the mailbox. So what sold was this. It's a very it's a Vera Bradley handbag and it has the matching wallet. Let's see if I can find that in here. There we go. Here it is. I have had this for so long. I just dropped it. <laughs> okay, I hung it back up again. I have had this for so long. I used to pick up these little Vera Bradley handbags all the time at garage sales and I'd pay like $3, $5 for them. I'm not sure how much I paid for this. So let's cut the difference and say $4 because it did have the matching wallet to it. I sent out an offer this morning, which was accepted and I sold it for $9.99 plus shipping. Back in the day, I used to get a lot more money for the Vera Bradley, but Prices have kind of dropped out on that brand. I had just finished up packing that Vera Bradley handbag and was getting ready to go walk that up to the mailbox, and I heard a cha-ching. So now I'll actually be going to the post office because I have to box up these. I sold this set of four bowls. You can see the bowls so much better up here. It was so dark down in the basement on that shelf. So these are the Fultzgraf Made in Mexico bowls, and I have plates and mugs. These are the big, these are really sizable in terms of being deep. So I bought the whole set, and it worked out to be like $1.14 per piece. So I paid $4.56 for these four pieces, and I sold them for $28.99 plus shipping. I got these at that Salvation Army when I did the meetup with Lynn from Halen Vintage. These meetups are starting to pay off. I got to meet up with other resellers, but I also got to do some thrifting in other locations. Happy Friday, everybody. It is two days before I go on vacation to Atlantic City. I already have my eBay store and Poshmark stores on vacation mode, but with eBay, they can still make purchases. And I have a few. One of them is right up here. 
This is a master salt cellar. Look at the color on that. However, it is damaged. It has a chip, not <laughs> that you can see it very well, but it's there on one of the legs. And it does have a scratch in the middle there. I got this out of that blue bin. Not that the bin was blue. I meant to say blue glass bin. So I really don't have any money into this. I put this up for auction starting at 99 cents and that's what it sold for. 99 cents plus shipping. The next item that sold on eBay is in this box. This is my hat box. Let's see if I can get it very quickly. It should be on the top because I just listed it. Okay, it's further down in there. Or maybe it's still in the other room. Oh, it should be. Right here on top. Where did I put it? I am going to have to find it. I'm going to dig on this side. Nope. Aha! I found it. When I was down in Nebraska thrifting with Brianna of Primrose Collectibles, we went to the Goodwill bins. And that's where I found this hat. And the reason I picked it up is one is camo. And it says Shields there. And I kept hearing advertisements for this Shields, Shields Outfitters. And so I automatically just threw this in my cart. Turns out it doesn't sell for a lot. But I only paid $0.36 cents for it because it goes by weight at the bins. And I sold it for $5 plus shipping. I'm still keeping track of all those items that I sell out of that blue glass bin. And this brings me up to $83.39. As you know, if you've been following along, I paid $50 for that bin. And I still have plenty of items to sell. I'm getting ready to take these three items to the post office, but before I could even get these packaged up, this one was from yesterday, these two from today, I accepted an offer on another item. I'm waiting on payment. If they get it to me today, then I'll take all four pieces. If not, I'll take it to the post office tomorrow because I leave on vacation on Sunday. Today's Friday. Saturday's the last day I can get it to the post office. I just dropped off baby Lola, our little Jack Russell Terrier. We share her with my daughter and son-in-law. They were on vacation, so my husband and I had her. I dropped her off just a couple minutes ago, but I am near the Salvation Army, so I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of thrifting before I go home, and then tomorrow, my husband and I head off for our trip to Atlantic City. Let's see what I can find to flip for a profit. Green tags are 50% off. That's a really pretty flower pattern. Nine pieces for $15. Royal Stafford. Doesn't look like there's nine pieces there. That looks, yeah, that's a different set. That's kind of weird. I like the design and colors on this plate, but it was unmarked. I want to see what this is back here. These are in my way. Kentucky Derby. Five for six dollars. A little longer burger pot that would go with my underplate that I have, but can't get it for $3.99. Oh, 
it's an Arby's collection series. I'm like, what is that? Like Gary Patterson? Kind of funny. It's a whole bunch of them. This is cute. Oh, there's a Jack Russell on there. The dog loves me best. $2.99. Portobello by Inspire. Mistletoe Kisses. It's a metal, metal cup. Hmm. What's this back here? It's got a sailboat on it. Two for four dollars. I don't know what these are. This was actually false graph, but I couldn't find any comps on it. That's fun. It's chipped. Ah, Halloween. For 49 cents. In the cart. Legend of Zelda. <laughs> we'll check out that mug. I want four ninety nine for it. It doesn't sell for a lot, so I left it behind. I was very tempted to get this mug for me. And then this one for my husband, but I did leave them behind. This star-shaped egg platter almost made it in my cart. I found another knitting or crochet basket. Put all your yarn in there and your needles, but it was all chewed up on the one side. I like the looks of this trinket box. I'm trying to get a better look at it. They want $5 for it. Takahashi. These little elephants were made by Honko. They were asking $3.99 for each of them. I found a little lone skunk figurine for $1.99. I was hoping to find more of them. I thought this bear salt and pepper shaker, I guess it's just one shaker, would be cool for Thanksgiving. He was $2.99. That tag says six pieces for $14.99. I could only find two of them. And then I saw this little trinket box back here. I love the red and black colors on it. And they were only asking $1.99 for it. I added this carnival plate to my cart and this trinket box. I'm in the Christmas aisle and I found this little trinket box for $3.99. Now I am looking for these. Five for six dollars. Hmm, maybe they're not what I thought. 
These are Pier 1 martini glasses for $6.99. I might have picked them up if they were a little cheaper. This vintage sifter had a repaired handle, so I had to leave it behind. I was having a hard time identifying this particular vase. It had a unique shape and design on it. I'm at my favorite area, the silverware aisle, and there's almost none in the bin. I thought this was really unique looking. I giggled a bit when I saw this one. $2.99. This is adorable. back in the car my total spend was fifty dollars and seventy seven cents one item in there is mine I'll show you that in the haul which will be in this video I looked at this tray and had it in my hands I almost put it in the cart I put it back I went down the rest of the aisle I kept turning back around and looking at it then I went through some other aisles and I came back I had to get it this is the item that's for me. Paid $2.99 for it. So out of that $50 and change total I gave you, you can minus off like three bucks. I got the rest of my haul here in my light box, except for the piece of clothing, and I'll do that later. Let's talk about this item over here. This is that carnival glass. Look at that shine on that it's all purples blues aquas a little bit of yellow in there oh, so did pay up for it 7.99 the prices on this are anywhere from 20 to 45 dollars so i have no idea how much i will actually get for it now this item i thought it was going to be 49 cents i think i said that but i think it has to say four for a dollar ninety nine, he actually did charge me a dollar ninety nine for this, but I love it. Halloween, this is fresh decor. It's modern. I would think to get somewhere in that you know ten to fifteen dollar range for it. These I found these I think pretty much right away. It might have been the first item I found. This is Kentucky Kentucky Derby glasses and they're dated 2009 so each one is a different date 2013 and some people when they were there would have bought like a whole set of them so they might have six of these or if they're doing it year by year by year then they're only buying it one glass at a time I saw where somebody had like a set of six or eight of this design and this one was from 2015 and this one is 2012 and this one is 2014 now the ones from the 70s if you find the really vintage vintage ones those went for really good money these I paid six dollars for the five of them so a little over a dollar a piece for them well dollar 20 I guess dollar 20 for them and I'm going to put it up as a mixed lot you know in terms of the years and i'm going to list them up at like 25 to 35 dollars look at her isn't that cute it's got like a little feather on the top i just love the colors of it it's a little trinket box it's one of those that you know you have to it has a lid that folds up let's see if i can get that one handed there's nothing in it it's in excellent condition and on the back it says 1995 Bob Mackey Inesco once I get that sticker off the dollar 99 sticker off I'm not sure if there's more information on there probably not and doesn't she have a name isn't she ah, like a particular character or something especially with the purple eyes uh, I just can't think of it right now, but it's bugging me. So I might have to look that up later. 
then I found this bigger, much bigger trinket box. And at first I was expecting it to be wooden. When I went to pick it up, it was so heavy. And I'm like, oh, it's ceramic. It says two for $5.99. They mean because it has because it has a lid. Just look at that. Isn't that pretty? So it is, I think, made in China, maybe. Yeah, made in China. It's a bunch of writing on the back. It says not for food use. But I just love the design of it and how big it is. Definitely a unique trinket box. And then I went into the Christmas aisle. And I think I found this first because I was like, oh, a little metal Christmas tree. That's really cool. I bet it's a trinket box. And when I opened it up, it had a candle in it. But it is a trinket box if you take the candle out. But isn't that cute? But you could keep a little tea light, like a battery operated, or that's a real one in there. And this was a little more than I wanted to pay for it. For $3.99, um, $4. I'm not sure how much I would get for this. It, I think because it's like enamel with all of these um, rhinestones on it, that I might get in that $15 to $18 range, but... I could be overstating that. It might be more of like the $12 range for that. Same with this one. Maybe in that, you know, $15 range. Let's say 12 to 15. And then this one, I think, I think this one might be more into that 18 to $22 range. So this little stack of plates, I saw the Christmas tree. I saw this right here. And I saw that it had a Santa on the top and I'm like that is spood it's definitely spood it says five for five ninety nine so a dollar twenty each and then I turn it over and it says home goods it's got all kinds of price tags on it you can't read anything under it it's it's kind of weird and I was like home goods I'm like hmm maybe it's not spood turned another one over and it's got all just all kinds of things and then I finally, I was like, let me just turn the whole stack over. And then that's where I saw it. Someone had peeled it back enough where it said spode. I'm like, I knew it was spode. I don't know why I doubted myself for a second, but I will always pick up the spode Christmas items. I have sold a bunch of it over the years and it goes for really good money. I would say that this is definitely a bolo. And I happened to be walking down where they have the shoe aisle and I saw these and I'm like, oh, those look in really good condition because a lot of times you'll see the toe marks here. And then I was like, oh, it's Earth Spirit. I've sold that brand before for $5.99. I should easily be able to get in that eight, $18 to $22 range for these. Now it's September, so maybe not right now, but I could still list them up and then they might sell in the springtime. Sometimes this kind of item sells in January because people are going on vacation to sunny areas. I go on vacation in the wintertime to ski resorts, but other people go to um, sunny resorts. This item here is actually a romper. It was in with the dresses, but it's actually shorts at the bottom. It's a little red romper that you can wear either up on the your shoulder or you can wear it down below like m wearing it straight across it's hard to show it here because <laughs> it's just hanging down um, so I paid five dollars for it because it was half price and it's Jay Godfrey and I thought that size 12 was a good size and I'm expecting to get somewhere in that 20 to 25 dollar range for this particular outfit now, this particular brand, it was kind of interesting when I was looking it up, is they had this romper, exact same style, but they had it in like a green floral, and they were not new. They were, you know, pre-owned, and they were getting really good prices for them, like 80-some dollars or something. So I had to do a little bit more research on this because I might be underpricing it, but that's okay. It would be a quick flip if I underprice it, but I certainly want to get you know, the right amount for this particular um, designer. 
What's your favorite item out of the haul?